today's topic is essential commodities act 1955 this topic for the day uh, essential commodities act is a news uh, you know in, in past few days or agle you know kuch dino tak this act will be in implementation by government so let's understand what exactly this essential commodities act is and what are the repercussions now essential commodities act is an act which was created in 1955 so you can say that this act is a legacy of when india as a country was formed in the beginning itself in, in fact the first plan from 1951 to 56 and under this legacy it is more of a soviet legacy uh, you know maybe socialist legacy we can say under this legacy government used to control the production uh, prices quantity and thereby the objective was not to run the economy based on demand and supply but the way government wanted to ensure that essentials are provided in the economy based on the dictates of the government so price control ho there should not be any hoarding there should not be any kind of black marketing that was the you know objective so it worked very well during that time so it the law came in 1955 it was an act of parliament under which it was established to ensure delivery of certain commodities jo uh, jo certain commodities jo essential hai which will uh, which are important for our life okay aur uski supply the supply of that if obstructed due to hoarding or black marketing will affect the normal life of the people so uh, let's say food items could be there right now uh, you know sanitizers or masks they all come under the essential commodities act and the supply of them is very important what happens ki jab bhi kisi cheez ka jo hai demand badh jata hai and the supply is less then what exactly the producers the wholesalers the retailers do they hoard the commodity wo hoard karte hain and then they increase the prices and they manipulate people because they know that they can earn huge money on that so this act will you know discourage people from discouraging black marketing and it basically includes food stuffs drugs that is medicines and fuel petroleum it was enacted in 1955 and since then the government can use this law to ensure that the commodities which are essential they are available in the market at the fair prices to so sirf sirf regulation control nahi hai the price control can also be there so here government can also fix the maximum retail price of any product if it declares uh, it is an essential commodity uh, the list of items include as i mentioned drugs fertilizers pulses edible oils petroleum and petroleum products recently government has added few more items now center can include new commodities as and when need arises why it has in news uh, that is more important now because ec act is a draconian draconian is liye hai because government can invoke these law and it can be misused and it is believed that we in the economy till now time we are facing the problem of surplus deficit ka problem nahi hai jab surplus when there is a surplus the demand supply of the economy will ensure the price uh, you know control and price variability but if you you know let's say the demand uh, the when something is in scarcity then this system might work but something is in you know surplus then this will not this might not work in fact the economic survey which came in february uh, in the uh, january end it said that uh, it it hampered the remunerative prices which farmers get and what happens that it, it discourages for the storage uh, you know in the cold storages or you know warehouses so this law is out of time it is anachronistic law and as per, as, as, as as for the present thing and hence it should not be uh, it should not be continued but remember why it is a news because because of this covid crisis what government felt that actually the things in demand uh, suddenly have come into picture where you know the wholesalers the retailers the manufacturers have started hoarding so home secretary wrote to all chief secretaries to ensure availability of essential commodities by invoking this law of 1955 essential commodities act in fact esma essential commodities management act bahut sare states ne bhi you know and uh, they have used their own power also Ministry of Consumer Food and Public uh, Distribution is authorizing state and union government to use this uh, notification and they can use up to 30th June 2020 okay earlier with this an order issued by disaster management act uh, ministry of home affairs has allowed manufacture production transport and other related supply chain activities in respect to essential commodities such as food stuff medicines and medical equipment so disaster management act may the essential items can be produced under this covid crisis and here uh you know uh, you know the essential man- uh, commodities act will also be used and the present uh, uh, provision of disaster management act be used over what will this measure do here jo log bhi hai they cannot they have to fix the stock limit they cannot hold uh, the prices will be capped the production will be enhanced 
inspection uh, you know uh, of uh, dealers will happen actions can be taken now it is a very draconian law so it has strong criminal offense you know agar aap if you are violating this law you can go into prison up to 7 years heavy fine can be imposed and why because and state may also consider uh, detention offenders the offenders you know under prevention of black marketing and maintenance of supplies of innocent properties act okay so that is where it is important to understand why such measures are invoked now amid nationwide backlog there have been uh, reports of loss of production due to various factors especially in the labor supply in this situation there is a possibility of inventory building hoarding and black marketing so in situation mein ye zyada use ho sakta hai and that is why government has done two thing that is law ke tahat the price will also be fixed for example sanitizer ka government ne price almost fix kar diya hai and they are asking uh, even for uh, you know the mask the prices have been fixed okay so under this crisis of novel corona virus we have to ensure that uh, the supply chain is maintained especially for essential items or essential health ho sakta hai food ho sakta hai fuel ho sakta hai ye sare essential category mein aata hai uh previous uh, invocations uh, and as i said government used it for mask and sanitizer as essential commodities act till june 2020 and here uh, states can also ask the manufacturers to ramp the production up production badhaiye make supply chain smooth under this lm act what is lm act legal metrology act ye bhi ek act important hai so what is legal metrology act legal metrology act 2009 says ki weights that means agar aap koi item bana rahe ho so uska weight measure everything should be regulated so that both the laws have been there so under this states standards of weight measures regulate trade and commerce commerce in weights measures and other goods which are sold distributed by weight so legal metrology act ke tahat aapka weight measurement quantity that can also be you know can can also be involved okay so how it works uh, government finds certain item in short supply jab government ko lagta hai price bhi badh raha hai the price is spiking government can specify limits and the price control can be put and the state uh, can however choose not to impose any restriction but what once it does traders have immediately sell it to the market aam taur pe once the state government can impose this law what happens is that automatically the traders have to sell that item in the you know market wo stock bhi nahi kar sakte hain Uh, beyond the mandate commodity commodity uh, level for example uh, i can keep only 10 uh, you know pieces of sanitizers so baki mujhe sell karna padega or i can keep only maximum 10 so that is how so as not all shopkeepers and traders comply state agencies can conduct raid and of course uh, the criminal offense hai to uske khilaf you know people uh, can be put under the the provisions of law in this in this entire law okay so this is a very important act from exams point of view uh, you know we need to understand Okay so thank you very much for your understanding take care